In this video, I'm going to go over a Friedel Crafts alkylation reaction. And the thing you need to keep in mind when you're doing these is you always need to be looking for carbocation rearrangements. So, to get started with this, I'm just going to rewrite this compound in a bond line drawing form because I think it's easier to work with that way. So, we have three methyl groups. This carbon would be this carbon, and then we have two more carbons and a chlorine. Uh, so that's six carbons total, one, two, three, four, five, six. And in the first step of these Friedel Crafts alkylation reactions, we take our Lewis acid, and it's going to act like a Lewis acid, and it's going to take these electrons from the chlorine. And that's going to give us this compound right here. which we now have a positive charge on this chlorine. Now, what we're going to ultimately end up doing is we're going to take these electrons and give them back to this chlorine, which would create a positive charge on this carbon right here, but that would be a primary carbocation, which you know isn't stable. But luckily we have an adjacent carbon, which has two hydrogen atoms attached to it, so what we get right away is a hydride shift, which you might remember from OCHEM 1, in which the, this whole the hydride, which is the hydrogen and its two electrons, shift over to where the carbocation would be uh, to stabilize it. And that gives us this compound right here, where we now have the positive charge on a secondary carbon. And we also have our Lewis acid, which now has four chlorines and a negative charge. And again, we have another rearrangement that's possible here. Um, here we have a secondary carbocation next to a quaternary carbon, and whenever you have that, you have the possibility for what's called a alkyl shift, in which it's just like a hydride shift, except instead of uh, a hydrogen coming along, you have a carbon that comes along. So we finally get our rearranged and stabilized product, in which we have a tertiary carbocation. And then the rest of the reaction is just a, um, a EAS, the standard EAS reaction, electrophilic aromatic substitution, in which we have our benzene act as a uh, nucleophile and this pi bond comes in and then we end up with our benzene put this here and positive charge and when you do this you destroy aromaticity which is not good because it destabilizes it and that's never a good thing in organic chemistry um, so we're going to have to reform it. And also this <clears throat> compound right here is a resonance stabilized. It's called an iranium ion. I'm not going to draw it all out, but you should be pretty familiar with it. Pretty much in the resonance structure, this positive charge is shared between this carbon, this carbon, and that carbon. Um, okay, so the way to restore aromaticity is there's also a hydrogen here and we're going to come back to our Lewis acid which is acting as a catalyst in this reaction and <clears throat> what we're going to do is use these electrons to come in to take that proton and then these electrons kind of drew this in a weird way but these electrons come back in to reform aromaticity and you end up with your final products which has this guy added to it this alkyl group and then you end up with hydrochloric acid and also your Lewis acid is restored because it is a catalyst and that's how you do that I hope that was helpful